All right, welcome back. Today is a new day, and I wanted to show you my Western version of yesterday's skincare video. I just wanted to show the versatility that this entire 10 step process doesn't have to be with only Korean products. It can also be with anything that you have in your medicine cabinet. And that's what I'm here to show you this video for. I rearranged my medicine cabinet and I basically went through all the stuff I currently have and filled in the dot of this Korean skincare. Before I go on in this video, I just want to say that the 10 steps are totally around whatever your needs are. You don't have to necessarily do all these 10 steps and as I go through this video, I'm going to kind of talk through a little bit more about what each step is and how you can vary it if you need it or not. So the first step is to double cleanse. And the Korean skincare kind of goes more around the oily cleansers, whereas all the cleansers I've used have been milky cleansers. I have this one by Glossier. I always start with some sort of milk cleanser. But what I like about this Glossier one that makes it different from all the other milk cleansers I've used is that it has this jelliness in it. It makes me feel like it cleans the skin a little bit more rather than just rubbing my skin with milk. Um, super mild cleanser. It reminds me kind of a Cetaphil. You can double cleanse with this product alone where you wash your face once with it to get rid of dirt and grime and makeup and then wash your face again with this and it should clean off all the remaining residue. Glossier also sent over a promo code. So should you wanna pick anything up, now's a great time to save some extra bucks. If the boy brow's in stock, get the boy brow. Honestly, I think they have really amazing products for incredible price points, but for basic, basic skincare at what you need, I really, really think Glossier is a phenomenal brand. So my second cleanser I've used, the book recommends using something that is a little bit more stripping and that kind of lathers up a little bit more. This one's pretty gentle as well. This is from First Aid Beauty and it's just an all around easy cleanser. This one also is kind of one of those products that you need to clean twice using it. So it's really good to pair the milky cleanser and this cleanser together. Get your face squeaky clean. And the next step is exfoliating. And you don't have to exfoliate every day. So you can use a chemical exfoliant like the Kate Somerville or you can use a more abrasive one like this nude one. Whatever your regimen is, you don't have to totally, totally stick with it. Your medicine cabinet should kind of be like a closet where you get to experiment with whatever you like. And it's not necessarily like this shirt goes with that shirt and this exfoliant goes with that cleanser. I use something different, I pair something different. All right, next step is toning. I love Witch Hazel. It's a basic one ingredient toner. As many one ingredient items I can include in my regimen, whether it's an oil or witch hazel. I also like to mix match my regimen with basic items and I could do a whole other video on really good one ingredient items. But witch hazel is really great. It's an astringent. This really, really helps with inflammation and redness. Since I don't exfoliate every day, I like to use a cotton pad that has a little bit of an abrasive touch to it. All right, next is essence. So while I'm still not entirely sure what defines essence is, I did have this toner. It's been a longtime favorite of mine. It's a French brand. I've always loved this toner and I love the way it sprays out because it comes out in a really even mist. The essence really reminded me of this when I started using the essence because it has kind of this moisturizing liquid barrier feeling, which is why the essence is so cool and which is why I like this. This is basically the Western essence. All right, so serums. Since turning 26, it's been super important for me to start the process of prevention. This one is anti-wrinkle serum. I love Kate Somerville. She has amazing products. I've used them for over five years. If you have a younger skin than your 20s, like let's say you're going from your late teens to your early 20s, I definitely think picking up a serum that has a lot of vitamins in it is really important for you. 
Um, it doesn't necessarily have to have all these super active ingredients. The sheet mask, but this isn't really a sheet mask. I have a lot of masks. Masks don't always have to come in a face sheet form. In fact, I prefer it in a jar because it's less waste. I wanted to use this mask, one, because they're another skincare brand that I really, really like their philosophy. Most of their active ingredients are plant derived. My skin was feeling really raw, so I didn't want to use anything that was detoxing. What I love about these types of masks is that once you put it on, you can basically massage it into your face until it's clear. But again, whatever your skin needs, don't limit yourself to what mask you want to use. I'm going to New York in a couple of weeks and this is definitely going to be on my carry-on. All right, now eye cream. So this is another brand I'm really into because all of their products are 100% vegan and natural. I'm not picky about eye creams whatsoever, so I'll use anything. As long as it's hydrating my skin, I'm all good. That's why you also double moisturize. This moisturizer is by Dr. Jart, which is, I know, a Korean brand, but their branding is a lot more westernized. It's really, really light. It almost kind of feels like if the Clinique moisturizer, that yellow one, was liquefied down. I wouldn't use this as a lone moisturizer. This is definitely a base for your second moisturizer. And then with that, I will use the SPF. So I just opened this package to try this video because I was already out of my last SPF, but oh my God, am I obsessed. It blurs out your skin and it mattifies your skin while protecting it from sun rays. Like that's kind of really amazing. This is a great base if you're not wearing heavy makeup. I don't really wear a lot of heavy makeup, so this is perfect for me. And there you have it. My skin has been through a lot these past two days, but I can just feel my skin absorbing all this moisture and nutrients. Take a lot of notes from what the Koreans do because they have incredible skin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think and if there's anything in your skincare regimen that you want to share with me, I would love to hear it. Better skin before better makeup. So take care and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>